Conversations are supposed to be a give and take affair between two or more people, with each one ideally having equal control of the floor. However, there are times that you need to take control due to a variety of reasons. You may be talking to an extremely shy person, or you are discussing business with someone and the conversation is going nowhere, and you need to put it back on track. Here are some tips that you can use in order to control your conversations and steer it to your desired result. Make sure that the purpose of the conversation is clear. You can actually avoid most conversations not going the way it's supposed to by making sure that all of the involved parties are clear with the goal. This can be easily done in business discussions by just saying it directly, like, "All right, I would like to discuss with you how we could sort out the logistics issue." In social situations such as dating, you could say, "Hey, I really want to know more about you, so can you tell me what your favorite hobbies are?" This way, you are making it known from the start what your goal is, and as soon as someone starts straying from the objective, you can just say that you need to get back on the desired topic, and they won't hesitate to do so because they were already made aware of it. Use your eyes. When you are talking to people who you know are in control of the conversation and are confident about everything they say, chances are they are using a lot of eye contact when they are speaking. Making eye contact with the other party is a great way to show them your confidence and that you can take control of the conversation anytime you want to. This is not a way to scare the other person into giving you all the control and just sit there listening to every word you say. No. This is just a way to let them know that they are talking to someone who they can respect and will listen intently to when it's his, her turn to speak. Having the other party's full attention when you speak gives you control of the conversation. Speak clearly. When I say speak clearly, it doesn't necessarily mean to speak loudly as if you are using a megaphone. Speaking clearly means that your way of speaking is easily understandable by anyone. Having a somewhat deep tone in your voice will also help, as it gives the impression that you are an authority. Somebody with a high-pitched voice doesn't naturally command respect, if you think about it. Speaking clearly will no doubt captivate the people you are talking to, and that's when you have their full attention. If you don't have a naturally deep voice, don't fret; you can still improve it to an extent. Most people's natural voice is more high-pitched when used in normal situations. Pay attention when you speak. You'll most likely notice that you are not making it as deep as possible. You can practice speaking deeper so that it becomes your natural tone. Listen intently. Part of controlling the conversation is knowing the other party's goal as well. When it's their turn to speak, you should listen carefully and try understanding as much as you can. This way, you have all the information that you need to consider once the need to control the conversation arises. You cannot only think about your objectives when trying to take control. You'll just seem like a bully who wants to get what he wants and doesn't care about other people. You need to consider other people's goals as well. This way, they will see you as someone who genuinely cares and will gladly follow your lead. Use pauses during conversations. During every conversation, there is bound to be some silent moments since not everyone can handle speaking all the time. However, do not try to fill it up by talking, especially if you are the last one who speaks. If you just let the silence pass, most likely the other party will be the one who nervously fills it up. This automatically makes you the one with the higher status, since you are not the one who cannot handle a little awkward silence. This works great, especially when you give a sort of vague answer to a question. The other party will naturally want you to give more details, so they will ask an additional question or rephrase their original one. Taking control of conversations is not as difficult as you think, but it can be daunting to a beginner. However, with enough practice, you'll find yourself using these techniques naturally, without even consciously trying to integrate them into your conversations.